Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. I don't know what we're gonna call this. See, the thing is, we were calling it, do you know what I mean? But this isn't really a meme thing. This is more of a, a what would you call that? Like traditional recipe or it's like a the, vintage the, recipe? Oh, vintage recipe, yeah. Yeah, may, maybe, maybe it's not even vintage. So maybe. I think it was on, <laughs> now the, the link that you sent me for the recipe was off the Kraft Heinz website, but where did you see this initially? Uh, actually, that's where I did see it at. I was just looking for odd tuna fish dishes. And you found it. And I found it. <laughs> so, so we, we got off track a little bit and I, and I neglected to introduce you. I think most people who watch this channel know who you are, but just in case, if we get some first timers out there, we are joined today by Tom, old guy in Colorado, Raymond. Welcome Thank once you. again, Tom. Thank you. Thank I was going to say it's always fun work, uh, doing these um, these collaborations with you. It's not always fun. It's no. always, well, well. Yeah, it is always fun. It's, it's always fun. It's, always it's just super good. But. Nah, nah. Sometimes it's really disgusting. So for those who don't know, today, uh, again, Tom uh, ran across a recipe, and this recipe is for, what are they calling it? It's, um, uh, I think it, they call it banana pineapple tuna salad. Tuna uh, salad. So um, it's. Based on the recipe, it looks like it's it's kind of like your regular tuna salad. Instead of putting uh, onion and egg and relish in it, you're putting banana and pineapple and celery in it. Right. So I don't know. I mean, like, um, Tom, are you a big fan of celery? Uh, uh, celery, I'm okay with it. You know, I mean, I, I won't sit down and eat a stick of celery, but I, I like it okay in, like, potato salads and soups and in stuff but celery is like yeah celery is one of those things uh that it's kind of like you know black licorice some people just hate it just totally hate it and uh, some people will, and, and some people love it and other people just like it's all right you know it's okay it's fine you know it, it, it's some somehow it's like kind of necessary in some dishes but not others now i'm going to ask you a question because a lot of people think i'm crazy when i mention this <laughs> uh, are you somewhat of a mechanic you worked on cars before, right? Yeah, somewhat. Do you find that the smell of antifreeze is very, very similar to the smell of celery? <laughs> uh, it, well, I don't know. I, to be honest with you, I've never it, paid, it, it, paid enough it's, attention. It's not that when I smell celery, I go, that smells like antifreeze. It's when I smell antifreeze and I go, that smells like celery. celery. Yeah, a little bit. So. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I can see that. I yeah. Actually, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> and, and and I don't know why, um, because doesn't uh, doesn't any like for antifreeze, don't they put something in it that that's actually sweet and the animals like it? Animals try to drink it and then they drink it and it kills them. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know what what the product is, but yeah, absolutely. Uh, dogs are especially bad for that. If you got a leaky leaky radiator and a dog comes by yeah it could, it could easily kill it yeah. yeah all right tom so everything's chopped up and again uh i guess five simple ingredients tuna bananas celery pineapple and mayo right okay so uh, let's just follow the ingredients i mean the uh, recipe right. and the recipe so we'll put our tuna in because that's what you start with right yep All right, there we go. And we're supposed to add two tablespoons of mayo, right? Two tablespoons of mayo. See, th the thing is, you gotta, you gotta scoop yours out. I figured I would just, well, I gotta take it out of the spoon though, so. Uh, yeah, of, well, I just. Uh, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Mayo, so I just keep Oh, you make your own? Yeah, most of the time. You're a rock star, Tom. <laughs> Well, I don't get paid like a rock star. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're here right now, right? That's right. Because <laughs> neither one of us are rock stars. <laughs> All right, there we go. Close enough. And uh, so it said to mix this up, right? Did it? Now, it didn't mention salt and pepper. I'm not putting any in. No, but I'm again, not going to either. Yeah, but again, at the end of this, 
I have some stuff on the table that I might add to it, depending on, you know, what I think. Sure. Now, I don't know if it's my imagination, but cans of tuna are like smaller. So it calls for a five ounce can of tuna. That's not a lot of tuna. That's like uh, maybe a sandwich. Well, yeah, they. it even says on the can now, it's a five ounce net weight, four ounces of tuna. So you get, get Oh, well, there's this water. Yeah. yeah. Or, or oil, depending oil, on. Yeah. Which did you get? Did you get it packed in oil or packed in water? Water. I usually get water. Yeah, same here. We don't need anything else flavoring this, right? No. <laughs> so okay. what next? Bananas? Um, well, if you go by the ingredients, celery. Celery. Well, actually, it says mix everything else in, so it, I don't think everything it matters the order. Else. We just put it just put it all in. All right, so there's the celery. Now, based on the amounts here, this, to me, it just kind of seems like there's a lot of the other ingredients in comparison to the tuna. Now, you and I were talking off off camera, and we were saying that that we anticipate this isn't going to taste great. But the only reason we thought this wasn't going to taste great is because of the tuna. Because we don't really like canned tuna. It's it's one of those things that if you have it in your cupboard, you kind of eat it out of necessity. Are you all mixed up? I'm all, <laughs> more than you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's one of those things that if you have it in your cupboard and you have nothing else to eat, you're like, ah, oh, let me make some tuna. Yes. But it's not one of those things that you immediately, you know, think, I'm going to stock up on tuna so that I can eat it seven nights a week mm. and twice on Sundays. <laughs> I mean, it's colorful. I'm going to give it a whiff. It, it takes away from the tuna smell a little bit, the other stuff. Yeah, but it doesn't add to it. It just... No. <laughs> Dude. No, it just kind of mutes it a, a little bit. Maybe that's what it does for the flavor, too. <laughs> I don't know. So so you and I talked at, ahead of time, and we said, and we said, how do we want to, how do we want to eat this? Like, uh, you want to you, you want to do crackers? You want to do uh, on bread? And I think we agreed that let's do it the same way we did the um, bologna salad that we did. Yeah, let's do both. Yep. All right, so got my Ritz crackers here. Now I'm Does gonna take a have moment. A weird smell to you? I mean, with the celery and the banana. It has to me. It has like yeah, it is kind of a weird smell, but it's but it hides the tuna smell. So for me. <laughs> Yeah, you know. it's not a bad thing. <laughs> so I got my Ritz crackers. Now, I want to say something before we start. So this is for Nabisco. So Nabisco, I hope you're listening, right? Tom, you're familiar with those Pringle, the small small cans of Pringles? Uh-huh. Nabisco, if you can do this, <laughs> you can you can sell just this in one of those little cans. Just this. Because exactly. maybe some, maybe sometimes people don't need eighty thousand Ritz crackers. Maybe they just need <laughs> this many. You know, maybe they just need the, maybe they just need four Ritz crackers. So like, just put them into one of those little cans. You know, maybe more people would buy them. They just you know eat it as a snack, just yeah, like a quick snack. It, this it, it, we know they charge more. So this would fit really neatly in one of those cans. Sure, that would be so, great. <laughs> that's my that's my thing. And they would All probably right. stay unbroken pretty well too. Yep. All right. Like, I don't want to have to pay five bucks for, you know, 20,000 Ritz crackers that I'm not going to eat. Uh, <laughs> I, I think you can hear that puppy in the background. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. I just no. missed it. I, I was busy crinkling the uh, paper, ah. so I missed that. <laughs> All right, let's give this a shot. Put in just a decent sized pile on there. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. The sweetness from the pineapple is kind of odd. 
<laughs> I want a screenshot of that face. Oh my gosh. That. Now, so here's my thing. My thing is the sweetness from the pineapple and probably the banana as well. It doesn't feel like it belongs in there. It doesn't feel like it, like it, it doesn't like sweet with, with tuna. It just seems like it just doesn't belong in there. The other thing is it needs something with bite, you know, it needs something, something like an acid or something, you know, and I know there's, there's acid in pineapple, but it's just not enough to, to kind of cut through that. It needs some kind of like vinegar or, you know, hot sauce or something, you know, something to, something to pep it up. It could use a little salt, I think. Um, that's just on a cracker. Let's uh, let's switch to sandwich mode and see how that goes. Do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> it's a good thing we don't have a pound of this. <laughs> this, this is uh, now. I'm gonna have to tell you that. Uh, it, it, I'm really beginning to regret showing you this one. <laughs> how, how did you how did you think it would end, Tom? Well, you show me something like this, right? How do you, how do you think it's going to end? Yeah, I'm just I'm really seriously not looking forward <laughs> to, to this sandwich. Like uh, this, maybe the bread will tame it a little bit. <laughs> you know. Uh, Who knows? Oh, I, I can always hope. <laughs> there that is. Look at that. I should have got napkins. I mean, it's a decent looking sandwich. Yeah, it looks okay until you, until you bite into it. I was going to ask if you're ready to do this, but I know you're not. But we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, bottoms up. I don't know, that's a great term. Means you're going to be laying flat on your face on the floor. Ooh. It's just odd. Oh, no, it's not just <laughs> odd. It is just disgusting. Especially in the sandwich because it wants to tell me it's a tuna fish sandwich. And I'm tasting it and calling, you're not a tuna fish sandwich. Uh, it's telling me that the person that invented this <laughs> uh, needs to have their license revoked. Well, they I don't think they were completely screwed together. Maybe they just didn't, maybe they didn't eat it themselves. They just thought, hey, this <laughs> would go good. They, uh, let's take let's, this as a gag. Let's put this recipe out there and see what happens. Yeah, well, we, we just uh, saw what happened. All right, so based on this, Tom, um, what would you say? Now, unfortunately, the caveat is you have to you have to keep the tuna, right? What would you add to this that you think would improve it? And, and again, we're going with the with the assumption that both you and I are not big fans of tuna, right? Uh, but what would you put in this to improve it? Uh, you want my? I would put in the garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> if I said, Tom, you have to eat this, you have to eat this, you have to eat the whole thing, uh, but you can I put in, but I you can put whatever you want in there. What would I, you put in? I would probably start with some black pepper. Yeah. Just something simple. Um, and then, and then maybe a little cayenne. Uh, your, I kind of think your idea with a little acidity might help, but it's tuna and banana. Tuna and banana. Oh, Cayenne. <laughs> that is just, even the smell of it is just. You have no one to blame but yourself. Uh, All right. Cayenne. Well, what about right. salt? Salt? Uh, for me, it was salty enough. Okay. But you know, if you want to put some in. I just, just a tiny, tiny bit, I think. Oh. All right, and then I, I have on standby 
relish, but relish kind of, it, it, that's like where it should have gone. So that's kind of like a, but I do have this. So it's, it's a green tomatillo based uh, Serrano and ha an habanero um, oh hot sauce. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this on the back half. Oh my gosh. Cause I think this is gonna give it that acid that it needs. Without having to resort to the pickles. All right, here we go. So did you did you add that? Well, to your I stuff? added some pepper mm -hmm. and a little cayenne I had sitting down. Okay. So. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's try it now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, Hi, Uncle. I was gonna say better, but but it's like, what is better, a six week a six week old hamburger or a seven week old hamburger? What's better, the six week old hamburger, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, Tom, normally this is the point in our review <laughs> where I ask you to rate it, thumbs up. Thumbs up, trending downward. Thumbs in the middle. Thumbs in the middle, trending downward. Or thumbs down. I don't no, think I have to. No, I'm going to tell you, not only is it thumbs down, but the light on the thumbs down would take a thousand years to get to it. <laughs> so two thumbs oh. down and two big toes down. Oh. Never again. No. Uh -uh. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it, um, I'm gonna give it a thumbs down, trending slightly upward. To me, it's not hell food, but it just really just tastes like those things don't belong in there to me. So um, yeah, so for me, for me, it's it's thumbs down, trending upward slightly, just one of these. Uh, would I ever make it again? Hell no. No, I mean, no, it, it has, it has no right, ex it has no right existing. There's no right are existing. You, are you a fan of bananas? I mean, do you, do you like to I don't them? mind bananas. I hardly ever eat them just, you know, just to eat them. Uh, like they're okay in a fruit salad. Um, I like plantains. So I like, you know, the fried ones. I like the plant, I like plantains. I like, um, you know, foods that are made with plantains, like the, fried, the banana chips. I like the banana chips. And I like uh, patacones, which are, uh, it's a Colombian dish made with uh, mashed banana and uh, and butter. I like that. But just, you know, just to eat a banana, you know, if, again, if it's the only thing in the house besides the tuna, <laughs> yeah, I'll eat it. I won't put well, them together, but I will eat well, it. You just did. And... <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So, so I know some of you out there are thinking like, Tom, that, that's kind of a, a gross thing for you to eat. And we're really sorry about that. You don't know anything because we're still we're, we're still on our campaign to get Tom, an old guy in Colorado, to 1,000 subscribers. So we're going to have a, a link to his channel down below, and then go out to his channel, subscribe to his channel, like the videos and everything. Because once Tom gets to 1,000 subscribers, he is going to do live, he is going to eat raw oysters with Vienna sausage, with chocolate, Cho uh, chocolate, so uh, chocolate syrup, and blue cheese dressing yeah. all together all together live live Why? so I, I don't know about you guys but i'm really excited to to see that i'm, I'm a little bit nervous because tom has a tendency to rope me into things like that but i'm still um, tom has made the promise that he's going to eat that live if we get him to a thousand subscribers so let's try that let's let's get him to a thousand subscribers because i want to see that i got one thing to add bell that the smell of this <laughs> is competing with the fragrance of nature that we've been getting from our litter of puppies. If that gives you any idea. Good times, Tom, good times. <laughs> well, Tom, again, it's one of those things that, you know, if you bring something to my attention, we're gonna do it. We are gonna do it. There's no there's no backing out. If, if you, sh you need to ask yourself, should I tell Val about this? Should I tell Val? Because if I tell Val about this, we're gonna have to do it. And if, yeah, and after this one, <laughs> I'm really seriously gonna start thinking twice. <laughs> well, either that or the next one, find something that you think might might actually taste good. 
it was a little bit odd. You, you like you've never seen it before, but you think maybe it, it will work out, and we'll do that. So you know, I'll leave that one, that one up to you. You know, a palate cleanser, as it were. Before before we do another 2020 burrito. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, once again, Tom, um, always fun, always a pleasure uh, working with you and uh, collaborating with you. So if you have not checked out Tom's channel, please do so. Again, the information is down below. Let's get him to a thousand subscribers. I'm going to see him eat that crap. I just, uh -huh. I want to see that. <laughs> and, um, and Tom, uh, thank you again. So the rest of you, if you want to get up and get the ingredients to try this, then, then you know, have at it. But, yep. but it's a crazy world, so please be careful. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.